Hey, and welcome back to another Revit video. And in this video, we're going to continue to look at stairs. But in this video, we're going to specifically look at multi-story stairs. Ooh, fun. And they're really great, uh, depending on when and how you use them. So before we get into it, if at any point in this video you happen to learn something, please demolish that like button. It really helps me out a lot. It tells me that you might have learned something. And also consider subscribing. That helps as well. Okay. The last thing I'll say before we get into it, if you haven't seen any of the other stair videos in the stair playlist, you should do that because we cover every little detail that you need to know about modeling, types of stairs, the different type and instance parameters, things like that. It's very important because it's going to get us to this point. So I highly recommend you check that out. Okay, here we are, multi-story stairs. So what I have here is, I guess you could call it a basic stair tower. Um, the only difference is that we look here, I've got level one up to 17.4, and then I've got levels three through five, three through four that are 10 feet eight, and then I finally go to 13 feet eight. So an extra few feet from four to five, just to, so we can break it up a bit and show you some of the differences that you might have to work with and that you'll probably come across in your models when it comes to multi-story stairs or just modeling stairs in general. So First of all, what is a multi-story stair? Well, uh, as of Revit 2018, we now have this capability. This is not anything new, but the idea is that you can relate this to kind of how a group in Revit works and that you have a stair and you model it and it's, it's one floor to the next. And then if you decide that that stair should be a multi-story stair, you can decide, okay, I want it to act like a group in that I'm going to take this stair that I have modeled between these two levels and I can apply it to any other level. And so it's done already for you. It's also group like in that if I were to edit any one of those stairs that are a part of that multi-story stair, they would all be updated to be the same, which of course, if you think of it like a group, that's the appeal of a group. You can have it update everywhere really easily and it makes makes uh, modeling stairs between multiple levels really easy. Before we had multi-story stairs, uh, the best practice was to simply model each stair at each level, regardless of uh, the same floor to floor height. And you know the easy way around that is to just copy the stair up, that's fine, but having to edit that and all that was a pain. So, okay, getting into it now. I have modeled this one because we don't wanna worry about uh, this being a multi-story stair because in fact it is not a multi-story stair and and that's because the level one to level two is 17.4 and then every other level is not nearly as high so it's very different so this is in this case is a one-off stair it will be here modeled by itself so let's go into level two and we can model our new stair and so I've actually already placed a shaft there that will include everything we need for that first stair but then accommodate the second Okay, here we go. Going into level two, we have our stair. And this, this stair is uh, the stair that we're looking at below. We can see it here, level one to level two. Cool. Just making sure that we have our view range set correctly. We do. Okay, cool. So now we need to draw our stair. So let's go into stair. And again, I, I went over modeling stairs in a previous video. So please look at that because that will matter a lot. So when modeling this, there are some things that we need to be aware of, obviously, is our base level and top level. So I'm going to start it here, draw it up, and then here as well, draw this up. Okay, great. So that's pretty good. We're happy with the stair, the way it looks. Let's go ahead and place this at the end so it matches the other stair. Perfect. We can adjust the shaft opening right here. So I'm going to just align this right there. Cool. So this is a good looking stair right now. And by all means, is it is the stair that we want. So um, right now, I'm also going to go in and copy up this shaft opening. I'm going to control C. And then I'm going to paste this, align the selected levels. And I'm going to choose level three because we want to cut level three right there. And so now I'm going to go back to level two and make sure that when I edit this sketch, we can see, okay, it needs to actually come straight across, of course. So coming straight across there. Perfect. So that is the shaft opening that we need and we can copy that up, but we'll get there. So anyways, we have this stair. And so what makes, what will make this a multi-story stair is some of the options that we have now is basically applying that stair to other levels. 
So knowing that it is modeled the way we want it to, I can make this a multi-story stair. If you see here, it says multi-story stairs and then select levels. So when I click this, we are now prompted to literally select the levels. You can see here at the bottom, pick one level that you want this stair to extend to or be a part of things like that. Um, and I have the option of adding or subtracting them, which is great too. So right now, you remember this stair is associated to level two and then up to level three. And so basically what other levels do we want this stair to touch? Well, if I click level four and I press OK, the stair will now be copied up in a way, not really copied up, but um, essentially copied up to the next level, which is perfect. That's exactly what I want because it is the exact same stair because it's the exact same floor to floor height. It just makes sense to do this. Great. So then I can always once I have a multi story stair, you can see, look, it appears to be kind of a group like in that everything is a part of one single selection and then it's all lit up. And so the only option I have here is not even actually <laughs> to edit the stairs, but it's only to disconnect, like connect or disconnect these levels. So let's go ahead. Let's say we wanted to add four to five. I'm going to add this one here and then I can add this one and then add five. And if I do this, you can see we get the exact same stair and it attempts to copy it up. And I, I like this a lot. Um, I feel <laughs> that this may or may not be the best way to go about things. And you could see because I, I might want to start my opening my, or continue my opening as it was in the levels below. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to copy this, not even copy. I'm going to extend my shaft opening from this location from level three all the way up to level five. And, I, and you'll see this. I like to do this with shafts. I like to extend beyond just the opening uh, because it will allow for that variance of floors, you know, you, floor depths. You might have a difference, it might change, it might, things like that. So it's going to count for that. So look at this. So if I want this to be consistent all the way up, well, we have to realize that because I have a different floor to floor height from four to five as I do from three to four or two to three for that matter, I'm going to get this result. And I love the fact that the multi story stair does, basically does this for me, but it didn't do it exactly like I wanted to. So and it's for this reason that I would not necessarily want to associate stairs and create basically create a multi-story stair out of stairs that have levels that are not the same floor to floor height. You can clearly see it here. And so uh, this means so they're all a part of one multi-story stair. That's great. But that's also the problem. I can't really edit this the way that I want it to unless I start to really get like into the weeds. And so. Uh, I will show you that in just a second, but uh, just know that I'm in any of my models. You'll never see me taking a multi-story stair to any other level that has a different floor or floor height. That's just kind of the baseline thing to know and be aware of. You can do it, obviously, like we see here, but I would advise against it. Okay, with this, I'm actually going to leave this, but I'm going to get into the weeds a little more, like I just said, and show you some of the things that we can do. So. Um, there might be a reason to do what we just did and in this case add a level that's a different floor or floor height because we could do something like this i can hover over and select the multi-story stair and then i can literally tab to this specific stair okay and so like i told you before uh, we can't edit individual stairs in like the entire multi-story stair itself we have to go into the specific stair and so i tabbed to that stair you can see it's pinned we'll get to that in a second but then I have the option of editing stairs. Cool. So now I obviously know that I'm going to have to extend this top portion out because of my landing depth and all that. We'll, we'll deal with that in a minute. But if I come to my level five and I want to just adjust this to where I'm meeting at the same opening location, I pull this and I, you could see we have to add some room here. So um, I'm meeting at the same opening at level four, but up to level five, obviously I need to deal with that. But all that to say, let's see what happens whenever I accept this. I accept this and it does actually work. And it works in a sense to where I have all of these stairs still a part of this multi-story stair. So that's cool. You know, whenever I select it, I have all of them. So in a sense, you can do what I advised against. And that is you can go into the specific stair, edit it, and it becomes uh, that specific stair, even though it's a part of a multi-story. Now, 
in my opinion, it's fine. You can do this, but I would feel better and just sleep better knowing that every single stair in a multi-story stair is the exact same floor or floor height. It's real easy. Just add the levels and you're done. You don't have to worry about it. Whereas this, if I need to edit it, like I just said, I have to come in here and I have to edit the stair specifically and I have to make sure it works with every other stair in the multi-story stair. So that's totally fine. That's one way to do it. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now is show you what happens if I end up unpinning this stair. So let's see. I'm going to tab to the stair and you can see it's pinned. And if I were to tab any of these stairs that are a part of the multi-story stair, you can see that it is pinned. And that's really important to know because that does something. So let's look at that. So with that, we're going to look at what it means to unpin a stair from a multi-story stair. So when I tab to this, you can see, again, I have this pin icon that shows up. And that's important because maybe I, I want to keep it pinned, maybe I don't. But let's figure out why we want that. So uh, I'm going to come in here actually to this second stair. And I'm going to select this stair. and you can see the difference in my selection. So whenever I tab to this stair, you can see it selects both of them, both of them in the multi-story stair. And why is that? Well, Revit is smart enough to know that these two stairs are exactly the same in that this, the floor to floor heights are the same. So that's very interesting. So now whenever I tab back to this, let's call it different stair four to five, I get no other selections a part of the multi-story stair because there's no stair that is exactly like it. Okay, so now, even before I unpin it, I'm going to select this specific second stair here, going from three to four, and I'm going to edit the stair without unpinning it. And I'm going to change, let's say we make this run. I know this is not going to work with the stair itself. Let's make this single run for three as opposed to 3.11. So it's obvi obviously going to get wider. And I'm actually going to align this to the stair above so we can see clearly there is an error. Like I'm, this is not the way I'd want to model it, but I want to show you what happens. So I'm going to accept this. And we're going to see that not only is that condition happening here from two to three, but it's also happening from three to four because these stairs are the exact same. Okay. So that might be a little hard to see. Here we go. We can see the overlap is the same in both of them. Uh, but when we come up here, because the stair is technically different, even though it's in the multi-story stair, it is unaffected. So I'm going to undo that because that is uh, completely wrong. We don't want that. We're going to get out of here. And so one more thing I will do is we will unpin this. So you'll notice again, whenever I have these two stairs that are the same in a multi-story stair, they act the same, but I'm, and that's because they're pinned. So I'm now going to unpin this level three to four and we'll see what happens. Well, first of all, we get the rail is non-continuous. You're just bound to get that regardless because we're working with stairs. You can ignore that. So what I'm going to do now is edit this unpinned stair in the multi-story stair. And we're going to make the same modifications. So I'm going to make this four foot three. And we're going to align this to the stair above. So it's very obviously in the wrong place. Like we just saw before, we can see there's an error there. I'm going to accept this. So here is where the difference is and where unpinning really matters. So this, because I unpinned this specific stair in the multi-story stair, I was able to update this one independently, even though this stair, it selects with it because it was the exact same stair before. Now, because I've unpinned that second level here, I can edit it freely, even though they're all still within the same multi-story. So what is the long story short here? I'm, like, I'm, I'm also going to undo all this because we don't want that. What is the long story short? Well, like I said in the beginning, you are much better off keeping the multi-story stair and all the stairs that are involved having the same floor to floor level, keeping those in the multi-story stair. I would avoid adding every level and every stair, regardless of the floor to floor height differences, to the multi-story stair, I would avoid against doing that because it would it will become a lot to manage and you'll kind of start to defeat the purpose of having a multi-story stair and that you'll have to edit them all individually and, and it will just be harder to do so. You might as well just have individual stairs at that point. So at the point where we are at now, I would keep it like this. I would go ahead and, and remove, and we can show you how to do that. I would remove level four to five personally so I can connect, disconnect. I can disconnect that particular level, okay? And then 
I would keep the multi-story stair exactly this because I know these two will always be the exact same. So what's the best way to do? And when it comes to adding this other stair, how kind of how we had it before? Well, I would actually reconnect this and either way, you're going to get some errors when you do this, but I would reconnect this, come back to level five, one more time, edit this stair, pull it back to where you want it to, and then simply draw a new stair on top of it. Like that's, it's very simple. You can, you can copy the properties. See it's level four to five. That's it. Yeah. And then we simply make another stair. Let's go ahead and make a stair. Again, make sure this is 311. Yep. Yep. That's good. We're going from level four to five. All right. And then we just simply copy this there. Boom. And up to there. Cool. That's what I expected to see. And obviously this is, it's overlapping, that kind of a thing we'll accept. And so with that made, we'll get the errors, but now we can come back into our multi-story stair, disconnect our level five, and then we're left with exactly what we want. Obviously I need to deal with all of this and I would actually bring this down to only be at level four. And then I would have a new shaft for level five specifically because it's different. Uh, but beyond that, we now have the stairs we want. We have the multi-story stair that is spanning between two to three because two to three and three to four, because the floor to floors are the exact same and it's really easy to edit. And then finally we have this new stair modeled in to catch our level four to five, which is a bit higher. So that will do it for multi-story stairs. We looked at really kind of everything that you can do with multi-story stairs. Obviously we have tight properties and things that we didn't even really need to look at because there's nothing there. <laughs> but besides that, we looked at everything that we need to involve multi-story stairs with. And honestly, I hope you are able to um, take my suggestions and use them in the best way you see fit when it comes to modeling multi-story stairs and implementing them into your models, because they can be really helpful. Obviously you can see where, and I'll let you be the, the true judge of how far to take them. So again, that will do it for this video. Stick around for other stair videos in the near future where we're going to look at the code and calculating widths and things like everything important to egress stairs in primarily commercial buildings, but in general. So thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one. If you need to learn something, please demolish that like button. It helps me out so much, so, so much. Also consider subscribing too if you enjoy this kind of content. All right. I will see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day and thank you very much for watching.